What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Pisces sun sign friends. If you were born between the dates of February 19th and March 20th then you are a Pisces sun sign and this video is for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the month ahead for the month of June and I can't believe it either. We're halfway through 2018. It's crazy. Where does the time go? I don't know. You tell me. But it's here nonetheless so we're going to be taking a look at the month of June and we're going to try to see how we can make it the best month possible. Uh, today we're going to be using the Robin Wood Tarot. This tarot deck has been trimmed and edged and shuffled, so it's ready to go. So if you would please give me a moment to center myself, cut the cards, and deal the cards out, I would appreciate it. Very good. One thing I do want to say before we get too far into this is that this is a general reading for a large group of people. Therefore, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. But if you want a specific reading that's tailored just for you where I tap into your specific energies, then you can head on over to my website. It's www.lightofraiga.com. And that's going to be the place to uh, look at crystals. Also check in on the free daily readings I put on my homepage and book a personal reading with me. So I'd appreciate it if you'd go check that out, lightofraiga.com, link in the description box. All right, what we're also going to do is consult the Untamed Truth Oracle. We're gonna ask this Oracle deck what message it has for Pisces sun signs this June. What message for Pisces sun signs this June? And we'll take a look at this card at the end of the reading. All right, Pisces friends, let's see what we've got here. I've got three major arcana. Boy, that's interesting. A mixture of swords and pentacles and wands, all sorts of things. Okay, what we'll do is we'll look at these cards individually, and then we'll go back and see what they have to tell us as a whole. And the first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents the energies of last month, so the energies of May. And we've got the three of wands. And I get the feeling that in May you were very uh, optimistic, possibly uh, very future minded, thinking about the future, thinking about which way you want to go. Um, and really, um, how do I describe this? Just be, thinking about the future is probably the best way I can to say it. And, you know, thinking about the things that you have to do to make your future better. Um, being patient, yet at the same time, uh, being a little bit aggressive in your actions and trying to bring those things to you. Uh, very kind of mixed energy here. But the feeling I'm getting is that May was a time for you to think ahead almost and, and be optimistic about the future. So uh, it seems like May may have been a... May may have been a productive month for a lot of you. Uh, this card here represents the present current energies and we've got the three of pentacles. And whenever I see this card, I usually think of, you know, putting in work. While this could mean your career or your job, but it could also mean, you know, hobbies, whatever you like to spend time doing. I feel as though that right now at the end of May, a lot of you are, are focused on that and you're focused on doing a good job. You know, whereas in May, you kind of had this energy of, you know, how are we going to make the most of this? Now you're making the most of this. You're really putting in the effort. And uh, I think people are starting to notice if they haven't already, because uh, you're doing a great job. Very positive vibes coming from these two cards so far. Pisces friends, it seems like it's a good time for a lot of you and you're, you're getting stuff done, which is great. At least now at the end of May. So let's check in on this card. This card represents the energies of next month, so the energies of June, and we've got the chariot. More positive vibes, more forward movement, more accomplishments. I think June is going to see an even bigger increase in the things that you're doing to, you know, bring what you want closer to you. Uh, I see, you know what, I, I see this chariot and I think of someone who's determined to push forward, someone who can bring uh, the different aspects of themselves together, the dark shadow side and the light white side, right? Bring them together, integrate them and create something or someone who's going to create forward movement. So a very positive energy here. I think June's going to see you, whatever you're focused on right now, I think you're going to see an increase in success in that realm in June because uh, you're just putting it all together basically. So very positive, happy, 
not, not necessarily happy, but very forward-moving vibes coming from Pisces at this time. So it uh, looks like a good month in June. So let's head on over here. This card represents what to hold on to in the month of June. And we've got the Strength card. And uh, I think what this card is telling us, Pisces friends, is that you need to have confidence in yourself. You've got a lot of momentum behind you. You're doing great things. And there's no reason to have any self-doubt, self-worry, fear, anything like that. You're doing a great job and you should continue to do a great job. And you shouldn't allow self-doubt to enter into the equation at all because... Um, it's just going to slow you down. You've got all this momentum is the feeling I'm getting and the momentum is going to mount and mount. And the number one thing that's going to kill any momentum is self-doubt. So have the confidence. Know that you're strong. Know that you're powerful. Know that you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. And then you will be right. But if you tell yourself, I'm not good enough. I can't accomplish this. I'm probably going to fail. Then guess what? You're right. Whatever you believe about yourself, you're right. So let's uh, believe the positive. Let's believe the strength that you have uh, because you do. All right. This card here represents the biggest hurdle or biggest obstacle you're likely to face in the month of June. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. And money concerns may be an issue for some of you. Remember, this is a general reading. Not everything is going to apply. But I think money concerns is kind of a hurdle or an obstacle a lot of you are going to face. Maybe some of you don't have enough or you don't think you have enough. Uh, and that's going to create more lack. Uh, maybe some of you are too focused on money and it's getting in the way of progress. Uh, you know, and I see the three of pentacles here. Someone who's doing it for the love of it. But then the Five of Pentacles is, it makes me believe that maybe money is uh, a main driver in what you're doing. And if money is the main motivator, then you're going to fail. I mean, it's not going to work out, generally speaking. Um, you know, if, if money is your o the only reason you're doing what you're doing, then, you know, you're going to be happy when you have money and sad when you don't. And that's not the place that we want to be. We want to be happy regardless because we realize that abundance is all around us. It doesn't just take the form of money. Abundance comes to us in so many different ways. And if we're blind, if we turn a blind eye to the different ways that the universe wants to provide us with abundance, if we only want to see it in terms of dollar signs, then you're going to miss out. We're going to miss out on so much to love and to be happy for so that's going to be your biggest hurdle or obstacle is getting out of this money mentality in june all right this card here represents what to let go of in the month of june and we've got the six of swords this card to me is saying don't deviate from the path uh, there may be distractions in your life there may be things or people or whatever it is that's going to draw you away from whatever you're trying to accomplish don't let them don't get distracted stay on your path in june you have a lot of momentum i get the feeling of momentum here and uh, you don't want to kill this momentum by diverging uh, you want to ride this wave until it crashes on the shore and then you can start a new thing right but for right now i think whatever you're really trying to accomplish i think you really have to put a lot of energy into that in june you have to put your focus into that in june and if if your ego mind tells you hey you know maybe we should go try start something new or, you know whatever um you're going to kill that momentum so a lot of things here have the potential to kill your momentum don't let them now that we've uh, named them you shouldn't let them right all right this card here represents the energy of the people around you in the month of june i just want to say of course there's individuals in your energy and they're all going to have different t there's d individuals in your life <laughs> they're all going to have different types of energy so uh this card is representative of people in your life as a whole and we've got the high priestess i think the people in your life this month are going to help you s to see inside of yourself not with like a <laughs> oh never mind i was about to make a really bad joke um i think they're gonna open you up to who you are a little bit not a lot of bit but a little bit is the feeling that i'm getting from this card i think a lot of people in your life this month 
in June are going to help expose who you are. This could be painful or this could be very happy. It's hard to say. Uh, it's going to be different for all of you and uh, there might be different instances. But uh, I think the people in your life are going to open your eyes up to, to the nature of yourself a little bit. And that's a good thing. I think the more we know about ourselves, the better. So allow this to happen. Don't fight it. You know, if someone criticizes you, rather than say, well, that person's mean. That person doesn't like me. Just go, you know, forget that person. Instead of saying all that, say, is there any truth in this criticism? And really ask yourself, really, you know, look within you. Is there any truth in this? And if there's no truth, then okay, there's no truth, forget about it. But if you do find truth, then you need to, um, and if you don't like it, then you need to make some corrections. And you can thank that person for criticizing you. Even if they did it in a, in a very malicious way, they still have helped you to understand something about yourself and they should be thanked. If not to their face, then at least, you know, energetically think. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? Alright, this last card here represents uh, the biggest lesson my Pisces friends are likely to learn in the month of June. And we've got... Judgment. I think the lesson here is that you can create whatever you want. <laughs> You're creating your reality through your thoughts, through your feelings, your words, your emotions, your, your actions. You're creating everything in your reality. And once you realize that, you can start creating consciously. You can start controlling the subconscious mind and, and, and what it's creating along with your conscious mind. And I think the lesson here is that whatever you want to be true is going to be true. That's the lesson for this month. And if you want to rise from the ashes like a phoenix, naked from a ca burning cauldron, then you can do that. You can do whatever you want. You can have reality be whatever you want it to be. Um, but you just have to control your ego, control your emotions, control your intuition, and, and make sure you're creating consciously. Okay? So, Pisces friends, now that we've seen the cards all together, we can... Uh, See what they're trying to say. And like I said, big theme of momentum happening here. Things are happening. You you kind of charted the course in May. Uh, and then moving into June, you're going to be living. You're going to be on the voyage. So I definitely see a lot of momentum. Whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, it's going to be different for each of you. So you know what it is you're trying to accomplish. But I see a lot of progress happening in June in that realm. Uh, there are going to be some things that could slip you up. Be sure that you are staying absolutely confident in yourself. No self-doubt, no self-criticism, uh, unless it's beneficial, unless it's done in a, in a good way. Uh, have con Know that you can accomplish anything that you want to accomplish. And if you know that, then it's true. Um, there are, I do see some money issues coming up. Maybe some of you think you don't have enough money. Maybe others are just too focused on money. Uh, so figure out, you know, what your thoughts are on money and try to soften them up. Realize that money is just a tool to bring happiness to you and to others. Uh, and it's not happiness itself. That's the most important thing. It's a tool to help you. Uh, increase happiness just like you know a carrot is a tool to help you increase happiness because it, it tastes good and it makes you feel good and it improves your health right so so too is money uh you're not like sad if you don't have enough carrots are you that was weird i don't know where that came from okay uh don't deviate from the path this month uh stay on track you have a you're you're riding a wave is the way i, th I see it right now and you don't want to start swimming in the opposite direction uh, you're not going to get very far a and you're not going to head towards the beach that you want <laughs> you know you're gonna go to the wrong beach <laughs> and uh this beach has got like beautiful sand and, and little little drinks with umbrellas in it so you want to head to the beach that you set out to head to so don't get distracted by the little things especially the ego mind um the people in your life are going to expose some things about yourself possibly it could come in a nice way could come in a harsh way but whatever way it comes don't take it personally uh learn from it and uh you will grow as a person and um, remember that this month you can be whatever you want to be. Wherever you place your attention and your focus, that is what will happen. And this month I see you guys manifesting very strongly. Uh, so keep your thoughts clean. Keep your words clean. Keep your emotions pure. And you will create what you want. Cool. All right, before we go, we ask the Untamed Truth Oracle what message it had for my Pisces friends this month in June. And we've got Connection. Oh, 
Okay. I think the stronger your connection, the the better, the more success you're going to have. Your connection to nature, the earth, your connection to the spirit realms, like your, through your intuition, but also your connection to yourself and understanding yourself and, and what's going on within you and how you're creating and manifesting your own reality. And the, the stronger these connections to these th three things are, the the more your reality is going to look like your dreams. So don't be afraid of creating those connections. Don't be afraid of strengthening those connections. Don't shy away from the work that is necessary to, to strengthen those creations, connections, <laughs> excuse me, uh, to, to earth, to yourself, and to spirit realms. So to spirit realms, you can meditate more. To earth, you can ground yourself more, spend more time in nature. To yourself, you can spend more time in meditation. Uh, you can spend more time doing shadow work and, and, and you know analyzing the self and learning about the self. So uh, strengthen those connections this month and you're going to see this momentum um, just push you into a crazy new place that um, you did dream of. So it's your creation so that is the reading for my pisces friends i hope that resonated with you remember this is a general reading not everything applies to everyone if you want a specific reading where i tap into your energies like i said head on over to my website link in the description box below lightofriga.com i'd appreciate that if you like this video please hit that like button it lets me know that you enjoyed it and got something out of it so i'd appreciate that as well if you have any questions comments or concerns put those in the comment section i read all my comments and i love to hear what you guys have to say so type away and if you really enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos i released i just took a short break but i'm back now I'm back on track with these monthly readings also the bi-monthly and the weekly readings so you don't want to miss out on any of that hit that subscribe button please all right pisces friends you're riding a wave take it all the way increase your connections have some self-confidence and you will get to the beach of your dreams with a little mai tai with an umbrella in it <laughs> all right so that is the reading i wish you love and light pisces friends have a great month leave a like if you enjoyed this happy tarot peace